Okay, here's my garden for 2011. The Society Garlic is trying to come back. If you notice, there's some green bits that are in here. So basically what I need to do is pull back all this dead leaves here to get out that. This right here is going to be the beginning of the herb garden on the porch. This is lavender. And this one here is uh, oregano, Italian oregano. And then here is, sorry about the sun, but here is a view of the garden here. And I actually started just last week, I planted raspberries. There are black ones, then there's red ones. And you can see here that it is already sprouting a lot of green leaves. These here were already here. These were not. These were all new. These here. This one here had no leaves. And as you can see, they're coming out. And those are biennials. So it's going to be every two years that they fruit. So I'm not expecting anything until probably next year. These are my blueberries. I didn't get any last year, but as you can see, there's a lot of buds on here. So I'm hoping I'll get something this year. And here's a better angle of the garden without the sun all in your eyes and stuff. Okay, let's head into the garden. This bed here doesn't get very much sun due to the shed that we have behind here. So, this cilantro plant is going to come out. This here was a culantro, but I'm guessing it's not going to work in this area because it doesn't give a lot of sun. There was another cilantro plant here, but I guess due to the cold weather, it didn't make it. So, I'm going to take this one out and put it in a pot and put it on the porch with the rest of the vegetables. I mean, the rest of the herbs. And this bed here is pretty much just going to be for like lettuces and stuff like that. So they don't, hopefully they don't bolt too soon. Right here are onions. I had a lot of extra so I just threw those in there. These here are actual onion seeds that I planted last spring. And they are really coming up. It's amazing. There's nothing here. But eventually there will be. Right here are carrot seeds that I plant a while back. This is more onion. We love onions. We don't let it bulb because we just like them mainly for the greens and a little bit of stock that's on them. This bed here has all onions and of course we have red and white in either bed. And at the front is garlic. It actually came up. I was really surprised. Right here. I'm not sure if it's going to produce garlic bulbs, but we'll see. This is my tarragon. And if you look closely, it is actually starting to leaf up again. So that's pretty cool. This here was spinach seeds that I threw in there. And they have really come up. It's amazing. And they made it through the winter. Of course, I know it's a cold, hardy plant, but it really came through. Unfortunately, something got in the garden and ate the lonely cabbage that I planted. As you can see, it was just about ready. Something ate it. So, pretty much, this bed is going to be swept clean and other stuff is going to go in here. Probably just tomatoes because it gets total sun here. This one right here is supposed to be Brussels sprouts. I'm not sure. I've never grown that before, so I don't know. These were cauliflower, I think, because that's what the tags are. So I'm going to pull those and toss them. This right here was turnips that got extremely too big. I never actually ate them. At least I know I can grow them so I can eat them next time. And you can see here, it's just time to pull those. And I think this is mustard green, and I don't think we like that. We tried to eat it. This one out here is a, 
arugula. I think that's mustard green and we tried to eat it. The lettuce, I mean this, the um, leaves and they are so bitter. So, if I definitely find out what it is, we won't be growing that again. This is more cilantro. And this is rosemary in the back. This right here is lemongrass, and I was told that it does come back. I mean, I've tried to pull on it, and the root system is there, so I'm going to keep it. Like I said, this cilantro here is going to go onto the front porch. I mean, the back porch. So we'll always have it right, right there at the door. My chives came back through the winter, which is what I was totally surprised at. And basically what's going to happen is that all these beds that are here, including this one here, this one is going to be for peas. It seems to get good enough sun and good enough moisture, so I'm going to do peas there. These beds here, all along here, are going to be my tomato beds. I think I can get one in this bed here, at least three here, and at least three there. I know it's going to be crowded, but we're going to try it. And this is a view of my other beds. This one's a four by four, and this one's like a three by three. I grow a lot of peppers, so this will most likely be the pepper bed. This one here, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that one. Back there was supposed to be um, wildflowers and stuff like that, but because it's by the fence, it's not getting any sun, so therefore nothing's really growing in there. So it could be the lettuce one, who knows. This one here currently houses, um, Currently houses collards, Swiss chard, which I have to water this afternoon, spinach, and it was so amazing. I don't know if anybody has ever tried to grow this, but you should give it a try. This lettuce right here, and I can't find the tag. Oh, here it is. Escarole. This stuff came through the winter, was planted, you know, right before the winter came in. And it's fantastic. This one here, I think, is an amazing plant. It is sorrel, red, velnid. I can't pronounce that. That one, too. It's a great one. And then here is more Georgia collards. Um, we got that growing. I have more onions. And right here is some of my leftover winter type plants. Um, we got some spinach, some red cabbage, um, we got some butter, butternut crunch lettuce, a couple of straggler onions that were in here from like two seasons ago. So I'm just not sure if this bed's going to actually produce, you know, the cabbages that I wanted considering that we have a visitor which we discovered is a rabbit. And then over here, I'm not sure what I'm going to plant here. So as you can see, as you can see, this is the garden as a whole, right there. Okay, this here was supposed to be flowers as well, but I think the shade in the fence and the shed is not going to allow it to do it. Over there is going to be potatoes and sweet potatoes that way they can get as much sun as they want and that's it